hello people fisaya here welcome back to my channel on this channel i talk about faith lifestyle i also review books and magazines hope you are doing well yeah i look a bit tired today for some reason anyway <laughs> so today um i'm just gonna share my kind of a testimony or kind of a reflective um um testimony i would say about my migraine let's get started <music> As long as I've known, I know even as a child, I remember um, taking a lot of painkillers for headaches and um, a lot of things have been done, you know, about my headaches. And if I don't have anything, it's always headache, headache, headaches. And growing up into going to school, university, it was still headaches. And um, in fact, at some point in the university, I started this, this developing or I developed migraines because I didn't know it was called migraine. I just knew I had really bad headaches that um, resulted in me being wanting to vomit, being sick, being restless, not knowing what to do with myself, rendering me uh, useless in a way because I couldn't do anything. Literally couldn't do anything. So um, after a while, I started researching into what leads to headaches and all of those things. I mean, the particular type of headache I had. And um, I found I was called migraine. <laughs> so, um, but one thing about the migraine is once I've rested and once I've avoided um, a bright light into my into the house or the room where I am, I'm usually fine after a while. So um, I knew that it was something I had to, you know, deal with. I shouldn't just brush it aside. I need to look after myself. So it was really bad. I had it almost like at some point when some things happened a few years ago and I was very stressed about those things. And I was having it almost every other day. And no matter what I did, take the painkillers, rested, did everything, it was still banging on my head. Anyway, just last week Sunday, as I was um, going and driving to church, I was just thanking God that, oh, it's been a while I had a migraine. And I was just grateful to God that, you know, he's giving me ideas and told me, you know, how to plan my life, what to eat, what to avoid, avoid uh, just so I don't have those um migraines again and one of the thing is i really relied on god because when it comes it's always very bad i remember one of the days my husband wasn't here and i was actually vomiting in the in the sitting room my my daughter was cleaning it up it was really bad really really bad and once i vomit and i rest even without taking any painkillers i am fine sometimes when it starts my children will be running around you know praying for me writing cards get well soon cards for me and all of those things it was really bad it was pulling the family apart in a way because all they knew is like mom is always poorly mom is always sick and i didn't want that so yeah first things first prayed about it and then um yeah talked to god about it and i also had to look into my diet things to avoid my triggers and all those things and recently, it looks like I've learned to cast my cares upon the Lord. I don't bear them anymore, so I don't have migraines as I used to. And I've also um, changed a bit of my diet, a bit more healthy food, and also as much as possible, avoid some things. Like I know sometimes if I eat banana on its own, it's going to trigger the migraine. So, But if I have it in a smoothie... I'm fine. Or if I eat it with nuts, then I'm fine. So it's just those little, little changes. I know what to do about it because it's really, really bad. If you've never experienced a migraine before, oh, it's really bad. <laughs> so just wanted to put it out there that if you have a migraine or you're suffering from migraine or any health problem, don't push it away. Look up, look for um, um, ways to manage it. But most importantly, pray about those things. The Lord will give you ideas what to do and how to do it. All right. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe and share with somebody. All right. Yeah. 
but whatever you do make sure you keep going keep moving and don't stop till i see you next time bye